Welcome back guys, in this tutorial we see more about buttons, an attractive buttons makes an attractive UI. Below the app bar let me have the body property. Let me have buttons within the center property, first let me explain about the flat button. Every button should have a unpressed function. Let me define the unpressed as an anonymous function. The flat button is not visible as the color is not fixed. First let me fix a color for the flat button. So here you can see the button. Next using child widget, we can name the button, let me name it as click here. The text is not visible, as the text and the button were in the same color. Using text color, you can change the color of the text as you wish. Here let me have it as white. Yes, now the text is visible, next we will see how to increase the button size. Here comes the padding widget using which you can have the buttons of any sizes. Here, you can see that it takes two arguments, vertical and horizontal size. Let me have both as 20. Now, you can see that, our button size gets bigger. For a notable change, let me add a zero in between in vertical size. The button size increased vertically. The same happens when the horizontal size is increased. So using padding you can have the buttons of any size. In next few steps let us see how to have a more attractive button. Let me save it, to see how the splash color works. You can note the red color when the button is pressed. When long pressed, the color spreads evenly over the button. Splash color gives this effect. Similar to splash color, we have highlight color. In highlight color, you don't have the spreading effect as in the splash color. The color changes when clicked. Flat button won't have a elevation, and in most of the notifications, we have seen the flat button. In addition, we also have disabled property, which will eliminate all these and displays the disabled color we have fixed. In disabled property we can have a disabled button color and text color, this will displayed when the button is disabled. Now, let me comment the unpressed function, to disable the button. So, the button is now a disabled button, hence the disabled button color and the text color will be displayed. These properties will be useful, when you develop an app. When compared with flat button, raised button has more features. Next, let's see about the raised buttons, in detail. In raised button, we can have an elevated effect. For this use the elevation property and set the elevation size. Here you can see the shadow effect, which shows the button as an elevated one. Let me increase the elevation. Once I save, you can note the change. This is the significant advantage of using the raised button over the flat button. Now let me reduce the elevation effect. Now you can feel the elevated effect. So, the next one is the border property. Here you can see it takes three arguments, color width and style. Here let me pass color and width, so the style will be solid as default. Ok now you can see the solid border on the button. 
We also have highlight elevation property, in which the elevation changes, when the button is clicked. Let me save it, so when I click the button the elevation of the button changes. Now, let me show how to have the rounded raised button. For this let me erase everything in the shape property. Use rounded rectangular border, for a rounded raised button. Within this fix the border radius, before that let me choose it as a circular border. Now, let me fix the radius as 20. So, here you can see the rounded raised button. Now, let's see what happens when the value is too large. Higher the value, higher the convergence, but it maintains the shape. Next, let's see how to have a gradient color within the raised button. For this we need a container widget, so, let me wrap the text within a container. Use the decoration class, for the gradient. First let me use a linear gradient. For gradient we need more than one color, so let me have a list of colors. I am not good in selecting colors, Hope you choose the best color for gradient. Let's see how this combo works for gradient. Ok, the color was perfect, but it covers only the text, let me use padding and cover the whole button. The padding should be used within the container. Let me use edge insets.all and fix the value as 10. So, now you can see the padding works well, but the button size also gets increases. Let me comment the shape, for a while. Now let me use the padding, outside the container to reduce the border size. Here it shows as error as already a padding is used. So let me uncomment it now and set this as 0. So now we got it, the problem is with the padding used below, no need to have a new padding, hope the purple and amber combo looks good. Next let's see about radial gradient. Yes, this is the radial gradient, here the purple covers the center in radial direction and the amber covers the outer radius. Now, let me use the padding, outer the container and set a border for this button by black color. Hope you learned something about buttons subscribe to our channel and comment about this tutorial, thank you.